Chapter 8 Internet Services Learning Objectives History of Internet WWW World Wide Web Uses of Internet Advantages and Disadvantages of Internet Introduction When you have two or more computers connected to each other, you have a network. The purpose of network is to enable the sharing of files and information between multiple systems. Computer networks can be connected through cables such as Ethernet cables or phone lines or using wireless networking ends that send and receive data through the air. Today, Internet has transformed the entire world into a global village. History of Internet when man walked on the moon in 1969, the U.S. Defense Department established an Advanced Research Project Agency, ARPA, for further research. They devised a network of four computers to exchange and share their data. This network was known as ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Later, many universities were allowed to join this network and share the information. This was the starting of networking of computers, which grows bigger day by day, and rose Internet, the technology which has thoroughly changed our lives. Internet is a network of millions of computers connected to each other worldwide. Earlier, Internet was used by engineers, scientists and computer experts for research purpose. But slowly, the network was made reachable to private agencies and general public. People started using it for sending messages and files between any two computers. In India, Internet services started on 15th August 1995 through a government-owned company, VSNL. Some other popular internet service providers, ISP in India, are BSNL, Tata, Airtel, Reliance, Idea, etc. WWW World Wide Web The WWW World Wide Web is a collection of millions of web pages stored in millions of computers all over the world. In fact, it is the storehouse of information in the internet. You can get information on different topics from different websites, which are nothing but location on the internet. A website generally contains multiple web pages and the main page is called the home page. Each page contains information in the form of text, pictures, audio and video film. In 1990, while working at CERN, European Council for Nuclear Research, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, together with Robert Callio, invented the World Wide Web. Today, the World Wide Web is the largest database available online. A web browser is a software program that enables you to access websites and view web pages once you are connected to the Internet. The most popular browsers are Google, Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Internet Explorer. Fact File www.binge.com is the latest search engine from Microsoft. Users of Internet Internet is very important and useful for us in our day-to-day -day life. A number of our activities, especially in the field of commerce, are dependent on Internet. Let's know some of them. Searching Information A search engine allows you to search an information on any topic of your interest using the Internet. For this, you need to specify the keyword related to the search in a search box. Examples of some commonly used search engines are Alta Vista, Hotbot, Lycos, Binge, Yahoo and Google. Using a search engine Google is the most commonly used search engine. To search information on Google, open a web browser, Microsoft Edge, 
Type the URL in the address box www.google.com and press enter key from the keyboard. Google home page will be displayed in a web browser. In the search box, type the keyword, say search engines and press enter key from keyboard. A list of related links will be displayed. You can click on any suitable link and the related web page will open. Video conferencing Video conference means to conduct a conference between two or more participants at different sites by using computer network to transmit audio and video data. The participants can view each other on their monitors as well as hear voiceover speakers of their laptops or desktop computers. It implies the use of camera called webcam and also microphone at the end of each participant to capture video and audio data in real time. Images and sounds are transmitted through internet and delivered to other participants. This technology is largely used for virtual meetings among a group of people to discuss political, business, medical or social affairs. Popular video conferencing applications include Skype, Adobe Connect, OVU, Yugma, Ekiga, etc. Online chatting Online chat may refer to any kind of communication over the internet that offers a real-time transmission of text messages from sender to receiver. Chat messages are generally short in order to enable other participants to respond quickly. Chat room is a selected area or forum on the World Wide Web that enables people with a common interest, friends, relatives or corporates to communicate with each other through instant messaging. Typically, that rooms are dedicated to several activities such as sports, politics, health issues, television shows, etc. Instant messaging Instant messaging is a type of online chat that offers real-time text transmission over the internet. It is a communication service over the internet that enables transmission of text-based messages from sender to receiver instantly. Like online chat, instant messaging provides two-way message exchange in real time. The only difference between instant messaging and online chat is that in instant messaging, I am, the communication come about between known users and involves only those people whom the user has invited, whereas online chat could happen between unknown users too. Some popular instant messaging services are Google Hangouts, Windows Live Messenger, AOL Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype IM, etc. Internet Free Calls Another important feature of internet is to allow you to make free voice calls and video calls to anyone across the world. You can make free calls at much lower rates to anywhere in the world. Some softwares even allow you to send free messages and videos along with free internet calls. The only condition is that the particular software or application should be installed in the devices at both the ends. After installing the software on a mobile or computer system, you need to create an account on it. Examples of such software or applications are Skype, Viber, Tango, Retail, Google Hangouts, Google Duo. Fact File In 1936, Dr. George Schubert, an engineer working for the German post office, developed the world's first public video telephone service that connected the two cities, Berlin and Leipzig, and covered a distance of approximately 100 miles. E-learning E-learning means learning with the use of technology that allows people to learn anything or anywhere. E-learning can be implemented using an internet connection, a network, 
an intranet or a storage disk. It is less expensive than traditional learning and can be used to give training to a large group of students at the same time in an interactive and interesting manner. There are several websites that are used for e-learning such as Coursera, Ed's, National Programme on Technology Enhanced Learning, NPTEL, etc. E-Banking E-Banking or Electronic Banking is a net banking service that allows customers to perform all routine transactions such as account transfers, balance inquiries, bill payments and stock payment requests and some even offer online loan and credit applications. These transactions can be performed from anywhere regardless of time if one has an internet connection on his computer. Some of the sites that provide e-banking are www.statebankofindia.com www.pnbindia.com www.hdfcbank.com etc. Electronic Mail Electronic Mail, e-mail, is used to send the mails electronically. A mail can be sent to any person around the world within few seconds with no charges. This service can be used anywhere like at your home or office provided that you must have a computer and internet connection. When you send a mail to a person, it is stored in the receiver's inbox and which can be read by him at any time. Using this service, you can send text messages, documents, audio, video files, images, etc. as an attachment. Online Shopping Online shopping is the most commonly used internet service which is used to buy and sell things online. It is the most convenient method of shopping because you do not need to go out for shopping. You can shop almost anything like jewellery, clothes of different brands, food, stationery, medicines, footwears and many more from e-shops. For any online purchase, you can pay online using credit card or debit card or you can pay COD, cash on delivery. There are various e-shopping websites available for this. Some of the most commonly used websites are www.mintra.com www.amazon.co.in www.flipkart.com etc. Amazon Amazon is the world's largest online retailer and prominent cloud services provider. To make use of this amazing e-shopping tool, follow the given steps. Log on to the official website of Amazon that is www.amazon.in Type the name of the item you want to search in the search box at the top or you can search the item by selecting the appropriate category from the drop-down list of the Shop by Category option, located just below the Amazon logo. Tips for online shopping First, see who the seller is. Consider reviews, ratings and credibility. Track the movement of your parcel. Return an exchange policy. Select the desired product and check the details, that is, the key features and specifications of that item. Once you are satisfied with the product specification, click on the Buy Now option. After clicking on Buy Now, you need to create an Amazon account. Enter your valid name, mobile number or email and password. Click on Create your Amazon account. Fill in your address details under the Delivery Address section and click on Continue. Select the payment method and enter the required details. Click on Continue. Review your order details and click on Place your order and pay. Enter the 3D Secure code received from bank in order to authorize your payment. You will get a thank you page once the order is successfully packed file. PayPal is one of the most popular payment gateways 
founded in December 1998, that authorizes debit card and credit card payments. Social networking. Social networking has made it possible for the people around the world to be connected to others using internet. People having similar interests, relations and activities can communicate by transferring messages. They can also post their photographs, video clips and images and get comments and likes on them. There are various websites like www.facebook.com www.twitter.com www.linkedin.com which allow the user to create the account free of cost and connect with the people around the world. Internet TV Internet television, Internet TV is the process of broadcasting or delivering televised content to end user computing devices over the Internet. Internet TV is available wherever a broadband connection exists. Internet TV is also called web television. It is more like a replacement for cable TV with similar service and offering. Internet TV options consist of web-based shows, video on demand, VOD and regular television shows hosted on the channel's website. Some of the popular independent service providers of Internet TV are Netflix, Hotstar, Sony Live, etc. Advantages and Disadvantages of Internet Advantages of Using Internet Easy to communicate with anyone around any corner of the world. Easy access to information and resources. Facilitates online banking, payments and e-commerce. Social networking allows sharing of data with the people across the planet. Internet is a big source of entertainment. You can access online information from any place using any device with internet connection. Disadvantages of using internet Internet addiction is a common issue among people who use it continuously for hours. Cybercrime is another main concern. Hackers make programs to access your personal details, steal money or get confidential details of the organizations. Virus is a malicious program which once enters into your system ruins the valuable data from it. It can enter into the system by logging into unknown websites Links from unknown users or emails. Spam are the unnecessary emails, advertisements, etc. which can be irritating and cause problems. Playing online games and spending too much time in front of monitor leads to obesity and cause health problems. Quick Backup Internet is a network of millions of computers connected to each other worldwide. Internet services started in India on 15th August 1995 through a government-owned company, VSNL. A web browser is a software program that enables you to access websites and view web pages. Video conference means to conduct a conference between two or more participants at different sites by using computer network to transmit audio and video data. Online chat may refer to any kind of communication over the internet that offers a real-time transmission of text messages from sender to receiver. E-learning means learning with the use of technology that allows people to learn anytime or anywhere. E-banking is the way of doing bank transactions using internet. Online shopping is used to buy and sell things online. Social networking is used to connect people around the world using internet. Virus is a malicious program which once enters into your system ruins the valuable data from it.